staying true to the theme, I'm going to now showcase the geometry nodes a bit using our favorite neighborhood duck. All it's going to be is a pretty simple introduction to this tool set. Pretty powerful. I don't know by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, all of the ins and outs of it. I'm just going to show you some really quick and easy but awesome and powerful uses of the geometry nodes. They're really easy to get to, so you can either... I just changed the timeline down here at the bottom to the geometry node editor, or you can go up and go to the geometry nodes setup. So all I have in this particular file at the moment is I've gone ahead and built out my standard rendering setup. I was playing around with some materials that you'll see after a bit, but then I've appended and added in this kit bash kit, which is available to you all. So uh, I am going to be populating the surface of our friendly duck with these goodies. And I'm actually going to start by resetting the duck's material back to its former glory. So basically, when you get into geometry nodes, you'll see this. And you want to have a particular mesh or geometry selected. And so I have the duck selected, and I'm going to click New. And this has immediately populated a double set of nodes. And at this point, this should be pretty straightforward, I hope. The group input, it's just got a geometry, and it's showing us that same geometry at the end. So we're going to add some stuff in between here, and that will help us out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to populate some random points on the surface of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to distribute points on faces and I just press shift A to bring up this search menu and you can either type in distribute points or if you go down to the points it's right here distribute points on faces and we're gonna take this mesh and we're gonna plug it in right here and you can't see exactly what this is doing at the moment if you were to plug this into the end you would see it has now transformed our duck into these points we don't have to do that though, uh, but at the moment we can just have faith that the points are being scattered across our duck, and it'll be much more obvious here in a moment because what we're going to do is we're going to daisy chain this into another node. So we're going to press Shift A, and we're going to go to Instances, and we're going to say Instances on Points, and we're going to take the points and plug it in to the points. So we have distributed the points, and now we're going to put something at each one of those points but it doesn't know necessarily what to put there. So what we actually need is an object to add. And I'm actually just going to randomly select one of these. And you can just select your object and drag it into this geometry node editor. But I just randomly picked one. And you'll still see you'll still notice we can't see what it is. And this is where it becomes really handy to go ahead and add a join geometry node. And what this is going to do is it's going to take all of these things together and merge them. And here you can see this is the mesh it has chosen, and it is definitely scattering those around. I'm scattering 10 points, so it's scattering 10 instances. I'm going to go ahead and up this number to 100. And it's not so great at the moment because they're all rotated exactly the same way. What we want to do is we'll just plug in rotation into rotation and that will align it so that they are rotating with the normal of the object. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe we want to adjust their scale though. Maybe they're a bit big. So you of course could type something in manually here, but if we press shift A, we can type random and it will now assign those each a random value between this number and this number. So if we have it 1 and 1, they would all have a scale of 1. I want to put 0.01 to 0.2. Okay, that's too small. 0.5. That's better. If we want to change the density, of course, we can just type in a bigger number, or the seed will redistribute those. This is pretty sweet. Uh, what I want to do, though, maybe, is not just have this object scattered. Let's just literally duplicate this. So I'm going to control C, control V, and scoot it down. And we're going to do this again. 
We'll change the seed though. And we'll change the object. Okay. Now our duck has like a nose ring, it looks like. This is getting pretty cool. All right, we got two of these. And we can just keep going on this. Uh, we can make this all sorts of crazy. And I'll just go ahead and grab a few more objects to do this with. And you can see this geometry node is getting large. I'm going to make it larger here so we can see this. I'm just going to go ahead and plug these new ones in here. Let's go to just some random numbers for these seeds. And we just need to plug the original geometry into here and here. Okay, so now we have a bunch of different objects just scattered over the face of this duck for us. And any one of these, we could just increase their density if we want more of that kind of object. Yeah, let's get like 500 of those. This might look crazy for rendering, so let's take a look at that. I'm going to reset this material to a diffuse background, and let's see what this looks like. At the moment, nothing too great going on. What I actually think will be cool, though, will be if I just make all of these gold and have more of them. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to up these numbers. You probably want to be a bit careful on upping these numbers too high, especially if you have a lot of different objects being scattered. But I think we can get away with a bit more. Too much of that. HS1 con. For this one, we absolutely need a glossy. This one has to be gold. That's his nose ring. And the second one is HS1 CAN5. Is that right? Yes, CAN5. We'll maybe try it making all of them gold. It's not looking too bad. And of course, this isn't very controlled, but it's just a way to really quickly add complexity to a scene. I'm going to swap out of render mode. And I'm just going to really crank one of these, particularly this last one. I like how it looks. Maybe that's too far. I'm going to change the rotation to its normal. Let's see what that looks like. Time to render. 